Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This is on how to reassign mouse button. That's right, you can actually change the left mouse button to do what the right mouse button does. I did this on accident on my, my laptop, my Windows 10 laptop, and I couldn't figure out why I kept clicking one and it wouldn't do what I wanted is because somehow I switched the buttons, what they do. You can flip them. And I'm going to show you how to fix that if you ever bump into that problem or if you ever wanted to change it because you like clicking the other button. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos. Well, let's get started because I know a lot of people want me to get going. So this is how you do it. So the first thing you want to do, this is a Windows 10 laptop. This will also work on a Windows 11, but we're going to use Windows 10 in this video. So what you want to do is go down to the bottom of your screen with your mouse and it's going to pop up the bottom bar and you're going to the far left and click on the start icon. And that will bring up this, and you want to click on the settings gear. And then once you pull the settings screen up, you're going to look for devices. And the device is easy to find. It's the second one over system, and then devices. This will cover the mouse. So you're going to click here. And then when you click in here, you're going to see to the left a menu. It says devices. So you have Bluetooth and other devices, printers and scanners. But we're looking for, yep, the mouse. And that's what we're looking for. So you're going to click on the mouse. And here is the mouse category in the middle. It tells you what you can do. These are the settings for your mouse. So you're looking here. It says select your primary button. This is where I had it on the wrong side. So see, you can switch it. And now if I click on my left button, it doesn't do anything. Now I have to click on my right button. So I did this last time and I thought it was frozen. I was like, oh no, what's going on? Actually, no, it means I have to use the right button to click on it again right button again now it's back to left so you can switch it between the two whichever you like so if you like clicking the right button instead for things that's how that works and actually if I shrink this down some hang on I'm gonna, gonna move this down the bottom no just minimize oh that's right I'm using the wrong button again see that's a, <laughs> that's so annoying so see now the left button will bring up menus like this like your right button used to do and that's that's kind of annoying because now I'm gonna go back and I'm remembering I had to click the right since now the primary button is the right one. I'm going to click this and put it back to left. But remember, you have to use the button you assigned or you're going to be confused. You can also in this section use the cursor speed. You can change how fast it is. I like to keep it around 10. I think that's fast enough for what I need. If you put it all the way up, you're going to be super fast. Your mouse was going to take off on you. You also can do roll the mouse wheel to scroll. This is an, I think this is an important one. So multiple lines at a time. Great one screen at a time. Now this will make it fly really fast. Uh, multiple lines at a time is a good scroll speed. But if you want to go through multiple screens all at once, you can speed it up. I recommend keeping it on multiple lines at a time. It's much, it's at the right speed, the standard one. You can choose how many lines to scroll each time. So if you really want to scroll fast, you can make this go all the way up to 100 and it will fly. But we're not going to do that because I not I do not need to fly that. Actually, we can test that for you. Let's do that. Let's test it. I want to put it up to 780. Oh, let's do 80. You'll see what happens when I do 80. It automatically saves the setting when you change it, so you don't have to hit save or anything like that. Let's go back here. Whoa, okay, see how fast it's <laughs> it's flying? I barely touched the scroll and it takes off. Okay, so as I said, you don't I don't think anybody wants to go that fast. So I'm gonna get back down to four, three is probably a good speed. So when we go back here, I'll show you again the fun we have here. You can go here and see that's a stand, that's a good scroll speed. But the other was way too fast. So you can mess around with the settings in here. Um, you even scroll in active windows. I never tested that. I don't know exactly what that does, but, um, for the mouse part, um, changing the primary one button is right here at the top. I like left. Maybe someone likes it differently, but that's if you ever have it accidentally change on you and you're like, why won't this work? Then come in here. You can change it back to the left side. And that way you don't have to worry about it so much. But it's that easy to reassign the mouse button in your Windows 10 computer. Even the Windows 11 is pretty much the same process. It's just in a different little spot. But that's how you guys do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.